welcome to my channel today i will explain you how to use the collection insert update delete and retrieve in mongodb database how to create the collection how to perform the crude operations like a create insert update retrieve and delete right uh, so let's start with the mongodb here uh, first of all you need to understand the difference between the what sql is doing and what mongodb is doing uh, the term database is refer same uh, at the both end. So uh, whatever the DBMS is there that in RDBMS the database keyword is there the same thing is available in MongoDB. But the table keyword that is the structured representation right uh, that is replaced over here in MongoDB it is known as a collection. So the just term is changed uh, the thing is remain same. Here in RDBMS there is a one concept like row record right. So it is known as a document in MongoDB. Uh, there is a concept of RDBMS that it is known as a column or field. Uh, the same thing is mo in MongoDB it is known as a field. In uh, RDBMS there is a concept of joining in uh, of multiple tables, right? Uh, so in MongoDB uh, that concept is known as a uh, dollar look or lookup or you can say that uh, that is embedded document. In RDBMS we can define the primary key to the column. Uh, it com combination of the unique key plus not null. Here in MongoDB primary key is automatically created for the every uh, collection and the, it is automatically set to the underscore id column and underscore id column is automatically created if you want to define the value of underscore id then you can give the explicit value here in rdbms you can perform the group uh, group by using the group by close here it can be performed by the aggregation so uh, this is the just a term uh, concept of the terms that is used frequently in mongodb so i i will use the word like collection so you need to understand that uh, uh, i'm talking about the table now let's start with the mongodb in mong uh, and sql in sql you can create the table by calling the create table statement uh, let me give you parallel demo also right uh, so let me uh, move to the first oracle so here you can uh, just write like sql plus and you can you can connect to your instance uh, let me give the password that is pcs and pcs let me create the table over here i am creating the table create table employee uh, <clears throat> might be a chance uh, the table employee is there so let me uh, drop first uh, let me create the table create table employee employee number i am defining integer primary key and then you can give the employee name for example varket to uh, 30 and then you can give the salary for example it is number of 7 right the table is created but record is not inserted over here what about the <clears throat> mongodb in mongodb the collection is automatically get created on the first insert statement uh, suppose if the uh, collection is already there then it performs the insert operation and if the collection is not there then it will create the collection first and then perform the insert operation let's uh, uh, do the same thing in <clears throat> mongodb also so here uh, what we need to do definitely we need to connect our server so i'm just connecting my server to uh, mongodb server so uh, what i need to do i am just connecting here cdc colon slash program files here you can connect to your mongodb then you can define the server and you can move to your bin path once you move to bin path then you can start your server using the mongod dash dash db path here you need to pass the uh, path of your d drive local directory right so i'm just passing the path that is d drive my mongodb it will start the server once your server is started now you can access the mongo you can just type here mongo and your client will be connected you can press ctrl l to clear the screen now it's a time to how to create the collection over here in mongodb there are two ways to create the collection you can directly write the db dot create collection <clears throat> like for example i'm just passing the name employee too right so collection will be created but there is no record available over here in the collection right the same thing that is available over here in oracle suppose if you write like this select star from employee there are no records available same way you can fire the query over here like this db.employee2.find again there is no record available over here now suppose if you think that i want to create the collection on my first insert statement over here uh, then you can do the same thing over here right uh, but 
uh, before this if any collection name employee is there then I want to drop it so uh, there is no collection name employee you can just write the query like this show collections uh, it will give you the list of the collection and here you can write the query like this select star from tab and it will give the list of the tables that are available over here in Oracle right so uh, employee is the collection available there right now I want to insert the into the collection so you can just write db dot employee dot insert uh, employee collection is not available over here I am directly inserting the record you can just write employee number for example 101 uh, employee name colon for example uh, Parag employee salary for example I am just uh, putting here 50,000 and here you can close your insert statement and then you can just press and enter now you can show the collection and you can find that there is an employee collection is created over here right now here you need to perform the explicit insert so what is the benefit of uh, in uh, using this uh, <coughs> insert statement in mongodb if you if this collection is already there then it will perform the insert if collection is not there then it will create the collection and then perform the insert this is the biggest advantage over here now suppose i want to perform the insert over here in oracle very simple you need to write query like this insert into employee uh, employee number employee name and you need to pass the salary and you can write the uh, value that is for example 101 and let me write the value that is farad and the salary is for example 50,000 record is getting created right the same thing you can perform over here for example I am adding the one more record that is Devan and here you can add the value that is for example 60,000 you can add one more record for example 103 uh, couple and you can add the value that is for example 70,000 same thing you can do over here you can perform the value for example 60,000 Parag I am adding here couple 102 is the employee number here you can add the 70,000 value is for example Devin and 103 once all is done now you can uh, write the query to retrieve the data so if you want to write the query to retrieve the data here for clear screen you can write the CL space as CR and you can write the query like this select star from uh, for example table name that is employee if you write like this it will give you a record right suppose if you want to do same thing over here you can just press ctrl l and then you can write the query like this db dot employee dot find and then you need to uh, uh, if you press enter it will automatically generate the underscore id column over here and that is the unique representation of the record employee number employee name uh, and salary all this thing is available over here suppose if you want to look uh, in pretty look of a JSON, then you can call the function that is db.find.pretty and it will give you the uh, <coughs> in JSON lookup value that is employee number, name, ID, and all these things. Once you can retrieve all these things, now let's move to the presentation. See here, uh, collection is created on the first insert operation db.employee.insert, employee number, name, and salary. And you can also create the collection by calling the db.create collection uh, there will be no record inserted over here the benefit of using this is what uh, record is inserted as well as if the collection is not there then the collection it will be also created now uh, let's understand the difference between the insert statement that already i executed and i given the demonstration that uh, you can just write like this insert into employee number name and salary and here you need to write like this number name salary on and all these things now uh, SQL statement for example if you want to drop the table in SQL then you can write the query like this drop table table name and here for this you need to write the query like db.employee.drop let me give you the demonstration of the both very simple here you can uh, just uh, clear the screen now you can create the table based on the another table for example I am creating the table create table employee 2 as select star from employee it means the table is getting uh, copied right now uh, I want to drop this table uh, so you can just uh, write the query here deep uh, so collections 
see there are two collection are available employee and employee two same thing is available over here if you write like this select staff from tab then there are two collection is there one is the in recycle bin uh, employee and employee two there are two collection are available now i want to drop this table so you can just write the query like this uh, drop table employee two the table will be dropped and if for, uh, here in mongo you need to write like this db dot collection name dot drop then your uh, collection will be dropped you can just check so collection and here you can uh, purge the recycle bin and then you can check now select staff from tab there is only one table that is employee and here also one table that is employee now it's a time to perform the another query for example see uh, if you want to add the column over here that is join date for example then you can simply write all the table table name add the join date over here and here you can perform using the update many let me show you the uh, example of both very simple here again you can press ctrl l and here you can press the clear screen now i want to add the column so uh, you can simply write like this alter table employee add and you can write like this join date and the data type is date the table is altered and this column will be added over here you can just check select staff from employee see here joining date column is added but the record is not added over here one of the biggest advantage of using in mongodb is what you can just write db dot your collection name dot update many is the function in which you need to provide the two argument the first for which condition you want to apply uh, suppose if you want to apply this update on all the records then leave it blank suppose if you want to perform on only one or two records then you can pass the condition over here now i want to perform in all uh, columns so uh, all records so i'm just uh, put it blank now here you can set the value i'm just setting the value that is dollar set colon now suppose if there is a column is already there then the rep value will be replaced if column is not there then it will create the column and then uh, assign the value this is the one of the best thing available in mongodb for example see if you write like this dollar set colon now i am writing the join date colon now uh, what value you want to assign so you can call the java constructor for example new date the java, this is the java.util dot date constructor and it will assign the value of the current date and time and you can just check select uh, db dot employee dot find and you can call the pretty function and you can see that db dot employee dot find dot pretty and you can check that see the date is assigned to each record over here it means that the date employee number name and date having the record also see here record is not there for that you need to perform the insert so one of the biggest advantage of using mongodb is what it, it it will add the column as well as add the value also right and even it allows to add the column for the specific row why because it is a not only sql it is not structured database so it allows you to perform on any column also this is the one of the biggest advantage i will show you in my next lecture series now suppose if you think that i don't want this join date column so you can just simply write the query alt table table name drop column column name and here you can call the dollar unset uh, <clears throat> operator and your column will be deleted let's just check how to do this very simple here you can uh, <clears throat> clear the screen using sales press ser you can uh, write the query like this alter table employee drop column and the name of your column that is join underscore date so your table is uh, altered and your column is dropped now suppose if you want to write the same query over here you can just write like this db dot employee dot update many now again you need to provide the condition on which column you want to perform this and uh, or or on which row you want to perform this so you can just write the condition over there and then you can write the here operator that is dollar unset i don't want this column so just provide the name of your column that is join date colon just provide the value that is one to true and you can just check db.employee.find 
now no column related to join date is available over here and if you write the query like over, over here that is select star from employee then join date is not available over here also so this is the way you can uh, drop the column in your employee table right now i want to perform the update and delete also so uh, let me show you uh, another presentation uh, let me move ahead how to retrieve the record so very simple you can you are writing the query select star from employee over here and here in mongodb we can write the query like that db dot employee dot find but sometimes what happen we want the selected column from the table like select employee name salary from employee and here you can select the query uh, data also see uh, let me show you the demo here you can press the control l and here you can press the cl space scr now you can write the query like this select uh, i want the employee name and salary from employee only this two value right so you can write the same thing over here db dot employee dot find here in find there are two uh, arguments are there first argument is for the condition where you can pass the where clause uh, right now i want all the records so i'm not passing the condition here you can mention the columns which column you want so you can just simply write that ename column one it means i want the name you can simply write that salary colon one it means i want the salary column right and then you can just press the enter it will return you the name and salary but what happens underscore id is the default column that is available every time so if you don't want uh, here underscore id column then you can hide it also how you can just write like this underscore id colon zero and if you write the underscore id colon zero then it will hide your m underscore id it will display only employee name and salary the same thing that is available in oracle not only this suppose if you think that i want to write the condition i want the only data whose salary is more than fifty thousand. it means i want the record of only devon and kapil right so you can write the condition over here select star from um, uh, e name employee from employee where salary greater than 50,000 suppose if you want this two records only same thing you can write over here uh, what you want that is the second parameter and what your condition is that is the first parameter in first parameter you can write the condition for example you can write the uh, condition over here like this dollar salary that is the name of your uh, column right so dollar salary or you can write directly salary now you can mention dollar greater than why because greater than operator is not allowed allowed over here so for that you need to use the dollar gt suppose if it is less than then you need to use dollar lt suppose greater than or equal to then gte for less than or equal to that is lte so uh, th this this is the way le uh, ge greater than or equal to ge le gt E, uh, for equal you can use eq or uh, directly you can write the colon it will work then you can write your dollar gt colon uh, pass the value that is fifty thousand. one of the rule is what you cannot pass the two consecutive colon over here so just bind it within the curly braces and you can press the enter see there are two records available kapil and devin both having the salary sixty thousand and seventy thousand so this is the way you can uh, fire the query so in find function the first argument is the condition and the second argument that is what you want to retrieve so what column you want to select right so this is the way you can write the query over here underscore id is by default one so you can mention it zero this is the way you can fire the condition conditional value in oracle and this is the uh, way you can write the query in mongodb now uh, suppose if you think that uh, i want to perform the update in sql then what you want to do uh, see uh, for example in SQ, uh, sql if you want to update the city is, is equal to raj code where salary greater than fifty thousand. you cannot update this until and unless city column is there suppose if you write the query like this you need a city column is there right suppose if i write like this uh, uh, update employee set ct is equal to raj code where salary greater than fifty thousand. city column is not available over here right but here in mongodb you can do this how see you can write like this uh, db dot employee dot update many now you uh, first is the condition what condition you want to provide so i'm just passing the condition that is salary colon dollar gt colon fifty thousand. it means uh 
I am passing the condition that I want the data. I want to update the data of all employee whose salary is uh, <coughs> greater than 50,000, right? Now you can pass the uh, value that is uh, what you want to do. So what you want to set? So I'm just setting dollar CT or you can mention like this CT colon Raj code, right? Uh, same query you can find over here. See dollar set CT colon Raj code. So this is the way you can set that dollar set colon CT is equal to Raj code. So this is the way you can write the query and you can just check see the two records are modified and you can check db dot employee dot find dot pretty you can write or you can just write the db dot employee dot find and you can see that the ct column is added to the two records that is in Kapil and Devin. This is never ever possible in your structured database. In structured database uh, if you define the ct column then it is applicable to every record. You can uh, definitely uh, place the null value inside the column in which you don't want to put the value but the column is there. Column is required. Here you can say that there are only three columns available in first record and the second record having the four record four column that is possible in mongodb suppose if you want to fire here the query like this then what we need to do in oracle we need to add first the column so i i i, I how to do like this alter table employee i need to add the column for example ct worker to 30. once you add this then and then you can fire the query like this update employee uh, set ct is equal to Raj code where salary greater than 50,000 and now you can check select star from employee and you can see that uh, let me set the line size first uh, 200 for example and now you can see that there is null value is available over it but city column is there right and here city column is not there this is the basic difference between the structured database and the no sql database suppose if you want to uh, give the increment to the for example couple uh, let me give the increment of 10 percent to the couple how to perform the query in sql in sql very simple uh, suppose if you write the query if you want to um, give the 10 percent increment to couple so for example 70,000 is the salary i want to add the 7,000, right so let me write the query over here suppose i want to uh, rise the 10% increment to couple so you can simply write update employee set salary is equal to salary multiply by 1.10 where name is equal to for example couple and you can check select star from employee and you can see that uh, salary of the couple is a 77,000 now right here the salary of the couple is 60,000 right so I want to give the uh, increment to the couple the same query you can fire over here how see db dot employee dot you can write the query that is update many some people ask me that what is the difference between update and update many update updates only first record and update many updates the all the record that is the basic difference right here you can pass the condition uh, to whom you want to update the record so I, I want to update the record of Kapil so I'm just writing here ename colon Kapil that is the name of the Kapil now this is the condition now what you want to do I want to give the increment to the Kapil right dollar mul colon here you can pass your value that is salary colon 1.1 so what it happens over here the salary of the couple will be incremented by 1.1 that is multiplication by 1.1 you can just check see db dot employee dot find and here you can check that the salary of the couple is incremented by 10 percent so this is the way you can fire the queries over here in mongodb for the updating the value but suppose if you think that i want to make the addition that is i want to add the salary salary plus 1000 suppose if you want to do then you need to use the variable over here that is an operator over here that is dollar i and c right um, and for the multiplication you need to use the dollar mul suppose if you want to perform the delete uh, records in sql so simple we are writing like this delete from employee where name is equal to parag let me write the query for example 
suppose if you want to record uh, delete the record of Parag so what we are writing we are simply writing the query delete from employee where name is equal to Parag right so one record is deleted and you can just check select star from employee a record of Parag is not there right suppose if you uh, do the same thing over here in MongoDB then you need to write like this db dot employee dot you can call the function that is delete many and here you can pass the condition for example I am passing the condition that is employee name colon Parag right once you pass this acknowledgement record is deleted you can just check db dot employee dot find uh, record of the Parag is deleted now right suppose if you think that I want to delete all the records so simply you can write the query delete from employee and it will delete all the records and now suppose if you write select star from employee there are no records available over here right so same thing you can perform over here db dot employee dot delete many and dot pass the condition if you don't pass the condition then all the records will be deleted and if you check that there are no records available so this is the way you can perform the deleting multiple records right uh, all the records suppose if you want to write the multiple condition then you can add the condition over here this is the where close and here you can pass the condition suppose if you don't want to pass the condition then all the records will be deleted same here if you are not passing the any value over here the all the records will be deleted this is the way you can perform uh, re insert update delete and retrieve in mongodb that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.